Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Brett Wojcikowski of Orchard Lake St. Mary's Boys Soccer. How's it going, man? Doing well. How are you? Doing well. So, um, uh, obviously, um, uh, you know, wrapped up the season and uh, all that. Just, uh, uh, it's it was a pretty good year for you guys. Just kind of talk about the, this year and how to how it went. Uh, I think it was definitely successful no matter what happened in the end. Um, lots of history made and a lot of goals scored. So I think we did well and I did not, no regrets. I mean, I'm proud of what we did. Yeah. So just, um, you know, talk about just some of those, you know, those big moments and, you know, just trying to, you know, get this program off the ground um, because, you know, it was, uh, you know, trying to, trying to build a program is kind of what coach, uh, you know, what coach Jeffrey's been doing these last few years, but just kind of talk about like, what was it like to just kind of be, you know, a big part in just trying to continue the program for years to come? I think it was awesome. Just making history, winning the league for the first time in history, and then making the Catholic league championship for the first time in history. I think we finally like set a new standard there. So um, I'm looking forward to what my underclass will do next year and hopefully run it back. Okay. So kind of talk about, uh, remind everybody what position you play. I play a uh, center attacking mid uh, mainly, but I'll drop into holding mid once in a while, depending on our game plan. Yeah. So just uh, kind of talk about what you do, what you do out there for people that really may not be too familiar with soccer. Um. Well, after my knee injury, I think I just play like one, two touch and just spray the ball around. I try and keep like players off me as much as possible. Um, Distance myself. But other than that, I think I just create goal scoring opportunities and just set up my teammates to score mostly. Yeah. Um, you know, to get to, to accomplish the things that you did, uh, to get to, um, you know, to get to the Catholic League final, first time that OSLM has ever, um, been to that, what, 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 what did that mean, you know, just for, uh, for the school? I think it meant everything. Um, we were probably the most successful fall, fall sport at our school this year. So I think we like carried a lot of weight on our shoulders. Um, we had a lot of support from like the football team and all that. So I think it just brought us together more. Yeah. Um, you know, you, I know you've been, you know, been a part of this team, you know, for a long time and, you know, to be one of its captains along with, uh, along with Cole and Sam and what was, uh, what was that like to, uh, to work with, uh, to work with those two and all that? Oh, I was grateful for it. It was fun. Um, leading my underclassmen along with them. And I think we just, uh, made a lot of good memories. So I think we did well at what we were doing. Yeah. Um, you know, just kind of talk about like the best moment that you, that, that you've, uh, that you've had and been a part of this, uh, this program and all that stuff. Like what were some of the best moments that, that you've been a part of with this? Probably the best moment um, was beating Devon Child at home this year. Um, we won two one after going down on our first goal um, the entire season. And I liked the way we responded. And then I had a goal and an assist to win the game. So I think that like really set us up to win the league. Then other than that, even though we lost in the Catholic League final, I think uh, it's still my favorite moment that we just got there and took the D1 team to penalties. So I think we should be proud of ourselves for that. Yeah. Um, how, you know, getting over like um, to know that you're not going to be playing, you know, high school soccer again, what was that? What was it just like just to just to get, you know, just to have you had time to reflect back on, you know, your time there and, you know, what are you going to most remember? Uh, I think um, just all the memories. I think I'm starting to like look forward more to club now that it's over. So I'm kind of getting my mind off it and that college soccer. But other than that, I mean, I'm just grateful for it. So I don't really have any regrets about it and want to really change anything. Okay. Um, you know, I know that, you know, I know with club soccer, I know with, uh, I know you got a lot of friends, uh, you know, that are out there and all that stuff. Cause the thing is, it's like in, in, in high school sports, everybody knows each other and I yeah. mean, everybody, um, you know, I know you've got friends that are still in season. So yeah. just, uh, just kind of, you know, what's it, you know, just, you know, what's it like to start club season knowing that, and also knowing that, uh, you still have some friends, uh, that are going to be, uh, are going to be trying to go for championships this weekend. Yeah. I think it's all around us fun. Um, whether they're still in season or not, we like support each other and like group for each other. And then when club starts, we'll look back at all the memories during high school and like share them. So I think that's a fun part and just relate. Yeah um what what's the what what did what did you most learn this season 
Um, how to like fight through adversity? Because like I didn't even think I'd be back for my senior season because of my ACL. Um, but when I found out I'd be back, I, I think I learned just be grateful. Um, and hard work pays off because in the off season I worked as hard as possible to get back, and in the end it works. So I think just I learned to like work as hard as possible, and it'll all work out. Yeah. Um. So you. So let's kind of talk about your future. What's uh What's next for you in the world of soccer? Um, I'm still looking to play college soccer. I'm getting recruited right now, thankfully. Um, and I'm thankful for that. But right now, just trying to have a good club season my last senior year and just focus on that mainly. Yeah. You know, what is – uh so kind of describe, you know, what club soccer, what's that going to be like this year? Who do you play for and where do you think you – because you guys travel everywhere. Yeah. yeah, so I play for the Michigan Jaguars NAL U19 team. Um, it's a different, definitely a different game from high school. It's more technical all around, just like, I'd say better, more clean soccer rather than physicality. But, uh, we travel all around the Midwest, Florida, Arizona. So should be fun. Uh, what does soccer mean to you? Everything. I think it's just been the probably biggest thing in my life and I'm just thankful for it. I've been doing it for 10 years and don't want to quit at all. Yeah. Um, all right. Brett, let's uh let's get to know you a little bit. How about that? Sounds good. Okay. Um okay, best moment um you know, either it, this could be either from your club clubs club years, your high school years or watching another one of one of your friends do something. Um probably last weekend watching Devil and Win against CC was a good moment. <laughs> um, that, may, that made me happy. So uh yeah, that was probably the best moment recent. Yeah, of course, he's talking about Devlin McGinnis, of course, uh, of yeah. Brighton Boys Soccer. Of course, we'll be, uh, uh, we'll be going for the state title uh, this weekend against Troy Athens. Uh, those are actually all of the uh, MHSA high school uh, state final games will be at Grand Ledge High School. So that will be, uh, that'll be fun. It'll be, uh, it'll be fun. I'll be up there. So uh, get to experience my first high school state final. So. Uh, should be fun this weekend. Um, sure. Okay. Um, all right. Let's do a little rapid fire here. Um, favorite. Um, let's see. Um, what would you rather play, golf or tennis? Golf. I'm a big golfer. Okay. Big time. Um, bowling or um, bowling or rugby? Probably rugby because it's like super physical. I think it'd be fun. Okay. Uh, if you see someone, um, like so, for example, at a grocery store, do you, you go up and say hi to them or depending on what you're doing, do you just, um, you just like, okay, I, I don't think I don't have time to talk to this person. I got to do what I need to do and go. Well, I'll probably say what's up. Um, if I'm close to them, if I'm distant, probably not, I'll just walk away, but I'll usually say what's up. Okay. Um, all right. Um, favorite team to watch. Uh, unfortunately, Manchester United. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> um, uh, favorite player. This could be on probably, any. All right, uh, probably Paul Pogba. He doesn't play much anymore, but all time Paul Pogba. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, what's your go-to place for food? Probably Qdoba or Jimmy John's. Okay. Routine. Yeah. Did we do this? Uh, I, uh, I don't know if we did this with you last time, but um, did you, uh, did I ask you to rank your top five fast food restaurants yet? Yeah, but it's probably changed recently. Okay. All right. Let's do the new and newly updated top five list. Uh, so we'll keep Jimmy John's and Qdoba. Then okay. we'll go. Uh... All right. No, they, okay. These have to be from one to five. So one oh, okay. being the best and then five being. It's still good, but there's four out of it. All right. So one will go Qdoba. Okay. Then two will go Jimmy John's. Okay. Three will go Chick fil A. All right. Four. Um, probably throw McDonald's on there. Okay. And then five will go with Chipotle. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, the thing is, it's like if you, the thing is, uh, you know, one of the things I do like going up to new towns is like, or places that it's like trying all these new and interesting things. I hope I find a raising canes up there. Yeah, so, for sure. By Lanson. 
Yeah, it's by Lansing. So that's 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 why I'm probably going up there. I know East Lansing is going to be jam packed because of the state game, but yeah, we'll we'll just have to see on that. Uh, uh, finally, what is an interesting fact about you, Brett? Um, probably that I lived in Italy for six years. I think it's my best fact during yeah. my childhood. I, th- I know you've said that before, but it's still interesting yeah. for people that don't know. That's yeah, not about that. Yeah. All right. All right, Brett, thank you so much for coming on. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you soon, bud. Thank you. I appreciate it.